Yeah, where are all the men, like, the good, real men at? Where are you guys? I know, where are the men that, like, want to take you on a date? Like, like, I don't hit. Come in my DMs, please. I don't don't need dinner, though. No. You know how some people, like, first date, they want dinner? I don't want dinner for the first date because I want to be able to talk without food in my mouth. Yeah, even, like, when guys suggest movies. I'm Mm -hmm. like... Why would I go to the movie theaters with you on a first date? No, exactly. Why? Like, you and I could go in to the movie because we like, know each other now. But yeah. if, when we first met... No, I want to talk. All the good men got played, so now all they do is just work, scroll TikTok, chill, and ignore people. Tell me I'm wrong. I just walked into Abercrombie for the first time since middle school. Where are all the hot shirtless dudes? What happened to them? Why did we get rid of them? Okay, so serious question. If we're not going on dating apps for dates, where are we meeting men? And where are we meeting men in which we'd actually want to go on a date with? Where are all of the good guys? Can someone enlighten me? Because whatever I'm doing isn't working. Women nowadays will literally be like, I can't find any good men. There are no good men left. And then they'll be like, I just need six feet about like six inches and like six figures. Even if this video was just meant for fun, it's still another case of men acting like women have impossible standards so that they feel better about themselves when they don't meet them. And it bothers me because these guys are acting like women are looking down on men who they would consider less than perfect. But have you ever heard a woman talk about a bum who she's in love with? Cause she'll make every excuse in the world for why that man is incredible and just misunderstood. So let's say for example, that a man has no job. She's not going to let you sit there and call him unemployed. No, she's going to tell you how it's probably because no one ever encouraged him and that he's going to be able to do anything he sets his mind to once she just believes in him. You're acting like women will only date men who make six figures, but I know women who are working two jobs with full insurance and a 401k who are dating men with 60 cents in their bank account because she thinks he has potential. I don't know how you can act like women will only settle for rich men anyways when most families are living paycheck to paycheck and can't survive on one income because I think that means they married for love. And don't even get me started on what's between the legs because there are women in 30 year marriages who have never successfully had a no and you're gonna act like women are out here throwing the whole man away because of his size? Cause I don't think so. In fact, there are women out here faking O's so that the men in their lives don't feel inadequate and yet you're gonna act like we're out here bringing measuring tapes to our coffee dates? And sure, when it comes to height, maybe some women do have a preference for men who can reach the top shelf for the cookie jar, but that's all subject to change. If he's a good man with good qualities, then she may just fall in love and try to convert the whole world talking about how we love a short king. Listen, the truth is that even you don't believe this nonsense because if you really believed that women had impossible standards and you wouldn't be telling them to pick better men at every opportunity. So when I see videos like this, I realize that they're usually not mad about what women want. They're just mad that women don't want them. Stop the cap. <laughs> That's because these modern women are looking down on regular salt of the earth guys. They see most guys under 6 feet as males for their friend zone. Whenever a female has claws for nails like the post wall 304s in the video, like she's a villain in the X-Men, never listen to her. She's for the streets. She's bringing up these anecdotes as if they're disproving the man's point. It actually proves it because these females would rather be with a loser Chad and Tyrone than an honest employed guy who's 5 foot 9. Top comment says, it's just their excuses for their shortcomings. I'm sure she thinks she's real funny making fun of short men or men who aren't blessed below the belt. That's genetic. They didn't choose to be short. They didn't ask to use a Pee Wee Herman condom. It's not like being fat, which is a lifestyle choice. This is the same post wall who'd probably get triggered if a man called her too old and an HOE because she has a high body count. Another comment. Even when we lower our standards, the men who we lower them for can't seem to live up to them. That's how high their standards are, but what's the point in trying to impress a secondhand female? She's used up already and bitter. Any man that can actually live up to these standards are going for younger, hotter women. Men don't get everything they want, either in a woman in terms of looks, yep, they'd be perfectly happy with a loyal 7 who can cook and clean and isn't a 304. They'd even cherish her. She can at least work out and tighten up those glutes and she would know her role and which is making her man happy as possible and will make him love her more than the airhead bimbo 9 who's only good to look at and only fun for 30 seconds of screwing. Impossible equals totally achievable just not willing. Riddle me this Batman, how does a short man become tall? 
or an ugly man become movie star handsome. Plastic surgery can only go so far, and it costs a lot of money, like a hell of a lot of money. There's a reason why plastic surgeons own a mansion and sports cars in rich zip codes. This is pure projection, because these modern women actually achieve most men's standards. Yep, they just weren't willing to do it at the age of 18, because they chose being a bedwench over happiness for the rest of their life. The good men don't want to deal with this type of BS. If you guys live in Portland, where are the men at? <laughs> the Lord knows they're not going to approach me when I look like this. The tall ones. The tall, handsome, handsome funny, strong, strong men of tall, Portland. handsome, strong, specifically, strong, tall, str tall funny, handsome, handsome enough, hilarious, hilarious, strong, <laughs> tall. Where are they? Name a bar. Name a bar. We will go. Ron Tom's. If you, if you. Yours. <laughs> Yours. Yours. I am not going to yours to find a man, <laughs> unless it's yours. Not like with Riley. Fuck no, frat boys. <laughs> Anybody? Have River any Pig. Friends? I don't believe that that's where the men are. Two wrongs. That's not where my man is. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? They're looking for just the tall, good-looking guys who are funny too and strong. Where are these perfect men? In their dreams. There's no such thing as a tall, good-looking comedian. Why? Because comedians are men who have had physical shortcomings and realize that they have to stand out to get attention. So if they're naturally funny, they develop that skill. If Kevin Hart wasn't funny, which made him famous and rich, he'd have no chance of dating attractive tall women and being a player. That's life. That's what men have to do. A short woman, if she's good-looking enough, can be a shorty for an NBA player. She doesn't have to make six figures, or be funny or famous, as long as she's not annoying and is decent to hang around with. Also, Portland, Oregon is feminist utopia. It's nothing but hipsters, manginas, simps, male feminists, queers, you know. You modern women and feminists complain about toxic masculinity. Why are you complaining now? You vote for the feminist dictatorship. No real man wants to live in Portland and have to deal with the feminist apocalypse, which is post walls, single moms, purple hair, nose ring, stretch marks, obesity, maybe some hairy legs and false accusations. Should I continue? Real men and 304s mix like water and oil. A female comments, Girl, I left for this reason. They aren't there, unless you want the ones without shoes or manners. See, a female from Portland just proved what I said. Ain't no man of value and those types of qualities want to live in Portland where it rains most of the year. This top 1% man wants to live in LA or Florida where hot thoughts are in bikinis at the beach by the thousands. Another comment. Why would a strong, tall, handsome, funny, attractive man live in Portland? Exactly. Because he doesn't exist. That's why. Or if he did, he'd have a rotation of tens only. What do these females think? That these top mythical men will like them? They're acting like it's a shoe in or a guarantee that all they have to do is find these men, and these mythical men would be fawning over them. She's a basic B-I-T-C-H with an attitude problem. Females like her are a dime a dozen. I often get asked, where are all the good guys? There are no more good guys out there. Good guys don't exist. This is becoming a bit of a theme lately. Now, as a psychotherapist, I can confirm that there are many great guys out there. I've had them sat in my office and I have worked with them. The problem is the great guys, the good, kind, caring, authentic guys tend to get caught up in toxic relationships, often with narcissists. So these guys are difficult to track down because they've often been pinned down and they've been so abused that they're not able to get out of that relationship and understand and get into a healthy relationship these guys do exist but sometimes ladies you've just got to be patient there you go bedwenches a therapist a woman therapist confirms that good men got played by you 304 so that's why they went migtow and don't want to be found these feminists throw away these great guys for the toxic men that they seem to complain about all the time. The Deceptithots only want the good guys when Chad and Tyrone have moved on to younger and hotter women. 
And when it's clear that they were used for a booty call, or when they become a single mom because they thought having a kid with a player would suddenly change them. But players today are set on living the player lifestyle because most modern women will drop their panties for an alpha without question. Top comment says, We left the chat, off enjoying the peace and quiet. Never again will a woman take my time, effort, or sanity. I'm good. Life is great. These 304s have shot themselves in the foot. They're the ones who went into relationships in bad faith, thinking there's like an endless supply of good men that they can use up. And now with the internet, these men aren't learning the hard way, because they see videos like this which expose the truth about modern women. Us great guys are now too smart, so we stay single. Stay single, fellas. Any man worth his salt is going to become a passport bro if he truly wants a family and a relationship. Besides, a lot of the good guys have become players and are treating you 304s correctly. The MGTOW men are fighting fire with fire. If they decide to actually deal with modern women, they go on revenge tours and play as many thoughts as possible. Because they know for every modern woman that gets played, she's played at least 10 men before that. The good guys are out there. We just don't trust in relationships anymore. When these thoughts are bragging about having a roster of men on video and that those men don't know they're part of a roster, it red pills a lot of men. Especially if these 304s look like good girls or the girls next door. The ones who can fly under the radar except when they tell on themselves on camera acting like a baddie. And now the good men realize that only virgin 18 year olds are worth committing to. And that's in a non-feminist country. Can someone tell me where I can find a decent, loyal, funny, good-looking guy around here? Ugh, not another one. Alright, well let's try it again. And you know what? I'm just going to give a cursory mention to the friend zone. Because I would bet money there are tons of guys who meet all those criteria you listed that are sitting in your friend zone, or were, but you didn't give a second glance to. Because they just didn't check all the boxes. And that's the real issue. Because you see, there are tons of great guys, guys who are funny, guys who are loyal, guys who are good looking, all around you. The problem is, to you, they're just not funny enough, or good looking enough. They're not perfect. And that's the problem. You expect perfection. Or as you often see on here, women have raised their expectations. Or sometimes they'll phrase it as, we've raised our standard. And of course, they blame men for not meeting them. In fact, today's women take great joy in making videos, mocking and ridiculing men. I mean, it helps to get clicks, views, and likes, right? The thing none of you seem to have realized is, that's a huge turnoff for men. And it's why they're walking away from y'all. We get put down enough by society. But now the women, the women who supposedly want relationships with us, think it's great sport to make fun of us. How's that working out for you? The other thing y'all can't seem to realize is that it's become a huge risk for a man to approach you. Back in the day, women often laughed and mocked at men when they approached them. And from what I can tell, having talked to guys recently, it's not only still occurring, it's gotten worse. And believe me when I say this, when it happens to a guy enough times, and it does, he's like, why bother? But even as bad as that is, it's not even the worst possibility. Because there's enough of you out there who will scream at us for doing so. Who will claim we're harassing you. Thanks. But no thanks. So where are all those great, funny, good-looking, loyal guys now? They're home playing video games with their buds. Or they're out hunting and fishing with other guys. They're out enjoying life and not dealing with all this drama. And more importantly, not having to deal with the complete and utter lack of respect that today's women have towards men. We didn't create this situation, but we are acknowledging it. And the best fix for us is to simply walk away. I mean, men never really got much out of the bargain anyway, but today, there's literally no benefit to being in relationships anymore. Not a one. So I'm sorry you can't find the guy you're looking for. Maybe y'all ought to get together, stop disparaging men, making fun of them, and take a hard look at those expectations, oh, I'm sorry, standards you've all set. Because you can't meet your own standard. So demanding that guys do is just plain silly. Good-looking, tall men are only loyal to virgin 18-year-olds. Why should they be loyal to a 304 who can't pair bond, who will eventually want to go back to the streets or think she can even do better? The average attractive female has gotten the best qualities from various men, so a regular man can't impress her with anything. 
His romantic two-year anniversary vacation trip to Hawaii doesn't compare with the millionaire who flew her on a private jet to an exclusive Hawaii resort. The average man's physical stature can't compare with a pro athlete's build, or the comedian who makes a living by being funny. The average woman gets the best out of many men and thinks she can build her perfect man, and it doesn't work that way. Top comment says, Where can I find a single woman with no kids, baggage, stretch marks, her own income, her own home, and not crazy? Exactly. Most men's demands are choices a woman can make, except she doesn't need to have a job or her own home. Just be fit, friendly, no kids, no baggage, no stretch marks, and as close to 18 as possible and as close to a zero body count as possible. Where are the men that actually care about emotional connection? Well, the first place that some women should look that are actually asking that question would be the friend zone. You know, that place that a lot of women put men that actually show them kindness, consideration, and understanding. Try looking there first. Like, where are the men that actually want to build something with their person? And the second place that some of these men will be found will be sitting quietly in their homes, enjoying the peace and tranquility that comes with being single. Like, where? Where are they? One's not going to find them up there. Because I don't understand. I don't understand. It's just like that's long gone. Emotional, spiritual, and mental connection is completely fucking gone, apparently. No, it's not. But a lot of women forget that part of actually finding that connection would involve listening to their partner, not just their partner having to listen to them. And all they really care about is physical attraction and gaining physical attention. So that might be in large part due to a lot of women only being focused on a man's finances. I don't know what kind of world we're living in, but honestly, if someone is not willing to connect on a mental, spiritual level, like, it's just not happening. I'm sorry. We are living in the kind of world that modern feminism has created. That's the problem. These modern women are mostly attracted to men who care the least about them because that tells them he has options. As soon as a guy actually commits to them, they lose interest because he quote-unquote changed and isn't the same. And isn't the man they fell in love with. These females are addicted to the drama like a dog chasing a car. Once the dog catches up to the car, it doesn't know what to do. Same thing with these used up females. Once they actually get the relationship they want, their thought brain short circuits and gets a 304 error message instead of a 404 error message you see on computers. This is why I say they don't qualify for a relationship, because they don't know how to be in one nor would they appreciate it. Where are all the good men that don't cheat? Where are all the good men that still respect women to understand that they don't deserve to be played with, lied to, and manipulated? Where are all the good men that want to prioritize their family, their girlfriends, and the people around them that matter? Where are all the good men that know the sacrifice of a woman when she's at home with the kids or she's making a house a home and they appreciate it? Where are all the men that are happy to go to work every single day knowing that the home and the house that they built is because they sacrificed time away from their children? Where are all the good men that are trying to balance work, a romantic relationship, their kids, trying to do all the right things and still feel like they're falling short? Where are all the good men that understand that women can be crazy but you love them anyway? Where are all the good men that understand that things are not always going to be easy, but they're not going to go out and cheat or be out in the club to fill their ego instead of making it work within their relationship? Where are all the good men that still have integrity? They do exactly what they say they're going to do and they never fall short. Where are these men? Because according to women, there are no good ones left. Okay, bye. Where are all the good women who deserve such a man? Exactly. A little tip for you bed wenches and post walls. If you have to ask where are all the good men, it's because the good men are avoiding you witches. This is a very vulnerable video because I just got done having a mental breakdown. But to all of my single gals out there who like live on their own and like get all of their stuff for themselves on their own, I am proud of you because I am one of those people and it is so hard sometimes. Like, I feel so secure in being single and being on my own. And I really enjoy it, but the biggest, the hardest factor of it is money. <laughs> like, it's so hard to feel so good 
being single but wish so badly that you just had like a partner to be able to rely on a little bit as well like you guys could both rely on each other when it comes to finances and stuff like that like rent groceries just anything <laughs> like it's honestly so hard sometimes seeing my friends who are pretty much all in long-term relationships and living with their significant others and meanwhile i just made a spreadsheet of like the things that my money goes towards um because i'm looking for a new apartment and apartments are so expensive right now especially just to live alone like why do some places want you to like cough up over two thousand dollars for like a 300 square foot apartment that's like a studio apartment it's absolutely ridiculous like i should be able to support myself on my income and be able to afford my rent but i can't because all of you crappy landlords out there want to charge literally an arm and a leg for me to be able to have a roof over my head anyways the point of this video is just say for all of you girlies out there taking care of yourselves I see you because it is not easy to do and I don't know any girls who are out there being able to do that and like being able to pay their rent and also occasionally do things that they enjoy or maybe treat themselves to something every now and then how are you doing it how how are you doing it because I think I might be at my breaking point Maybe good men aren't showing up because it seems like all you care about is the good man's paycheck than actually him as a person. And that's the thing. Most good men don't want to rent an expensive apartment because they're saving up to buy an actual house or they're actually paying a mortgage off. Maybe should have thought about this before dumping your boyfriend so you can go through another HOE phase and live that city girl lifestyle. Anyways, feminists, you had your chances. You ruined them, so now it's time to live with the MGTOW reality that most of the good men don't want you, and you have 60 more years of crying about it. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.